Hello everyone, it's Carrie, and in today's video I'm working on a Madeline Hatter of Rafter High Doll, and I'm making her into Coraline from the books and movie. So today's video will be a face-up video, but also stay tuned for some full process videos. I have a couple of collabs coming up, as well as some dolls that I'm making for a line now that I'm recording the process of making the costumes as well. Speaking of full process videos, if you are interested in getting more close up to what I'm doing as far as uh, more step-by-step -step detail in regular speed time, check out my Patreon. There I have a couple of monthly like game changers and close-up clips, step-by-step -step videos. I also do one-on-one uh, -on -one help sessions where you can send me the work that you're working on and I can give you some tips on how to uh, how to advance your skills or to things that could really bring them to the next level. I've really been enjoying the community that we're building. We have an exclusive Facebook page where we can share tips as a group and it's just going really well so check out what I have to offer on Patreon. It's in the link. The link is in the description box below. So again this is just a full process or a a face-up video. I was putting this together along with several other dolls for a convention earlier this year. Or last year actually. And I, it takes a lot of time to kind of set up the costume, the recording for the costume making and, and being aware of that and and everything while I'm trying to make those costumes and the others and the hair. So I really just focused on recording the face ups. But I have a couple of collabs coming up, which will be full process videos, as well as a couple um, or a series of doll that I'm, dolls that I'm making. So uh, stay tuned for those. I'm recording the full process on those as well. At the time that I'm making this video, this doll is still available in the shop, so check that out in the link below. She's actually on sale. Uh, I'm having a sale through the next couple of weeks. I think it ends in about a week or two, um, where all of the dolls in the shop are 30% off, and she is one of the few that are left. So to draw the eyes, I wanted to make them really big and round to reflect the character didn't want her to look necessarily exactly like the character in the movie or the book, um, but I wanted her to kind of resemble her with a little bit of my style. So I made the eyes really big and round and then uh, lined the upper lid with some black and then drew in the tear duct. I'm using some pan pastel to shade in the, the eyelid area before I add the line. And just continuing to add and blend it out. I wanted to give her a little bit of a sorrowful look so I'm adding a little bit of dark uh, shading, carrying the shading over into the center of the forehead a little bit. And to accentuate it even more, I'm adding a little bit of blush in those areas and on the upper cheekbone. The products that I use are in the description box below, along with affiliate links. There's actually a link to my new Amazon shop where you can, uh, if you click that link, you can go in and see, I've put in every one of my products that I could think of that's actually available on Amazon. So if you have a question about something I use and where you can get it, you can go straight to that shop and see. And I also have little comments on it as to what I use the things for and whether or not I recommend them. So that link, it will be in the description box below. And I do, if you do purchase from that link, I do get a small commission for purchases from there. So that's appreciated if you do that. So I'm trying to make the tear ducts pop a little bit. So I've just added a little bit of terracotta colored watercolor pencil into some select areas around there. And I'm just adding the second layer. At this point, I would have added a couple more coats of Mr. Super Clear so that I can uh, go back and add an, a second layer. I'm going in with the eyebrows. So I had some exciting news. I'm going to be teaching a class in uh, this month. It, it's called 
uh, repainting uh, introduction to doll repainting at Michael's craft store so if you are in the Charlotte North Carolina area um, I'm having a class on September 14th which by the time this video is up will probably be too late for you to sign up but I'm having a second class where there's probably uh, I think there's about just a few slots available left available maybe four so if you are in the Charlotte North Carolina area and would like to join in on the fun click that uh, we'll put the description we'll put the link to the class in the description box below and also are you interested in learning doll repainting in person if so let me know in the description or in the comment section below if you'd love to take a class and where you're located because I'd love to travel a little bit we are full-time travelers at this time in an RV so we will be taking it out of state soon So I'm using the Faber-Castell Art Grip watercolor pencil, which if you've followed me for a while, you know is my very favorite to make very thin lines. And when I do the eyelashes, I like to keep them a little bit thicker at the, right at the lower lid area, and then kind of fan it out really with a little brushing, uh, swooping motion. And your, um, the weight of the pencil or how thick or heavy your handed you are really makes a difference when doing fine details like that. So I'm using a combination of terracotta and a couple of different shades of brown from my Derwent watercolor collection and also using this Caran d'Ache I use Arteza a lot recently I think this might have been before I got my pack of Arteza watercolor pencils because I don't see that I have pulled any out um, a lot of people have asked me how I like those watercolor pencils from Arteza because they are uh, a lot less expensive than like Faber-Castell or Derwent and I've got to tell you I, I really have been enjoying them they have some uh, challenges they're not as soft as my favorite Caran d'Ache of course it's the Caran d'Ache is so soft and super pigmented when it goes down and anytime I struggle with anything I pull those out and I know that they're gonna pull me out of what I'm struggling with and that's the Caran d'Ache Museum Aquarelle um, and then the Derwent are my kind of go-to they're kind of like a re uh, reliable they keep a, a decent point um, they're the ones that I use most often because they're a little bit more uh, reasonably priced than the Museum Aquarelle by Caran d'Ache and but then I've started using almost just as much as my Derwent I've been using the Arteza so it's a super great value and the water there the pencils there they do a great job in my opinion so all of those links are in the description box below and the uh, Arteza link is, is down there as well and uh, I get it that is an affiliate link where I'd get a small commission there too so I'm just doing a little bit of line detail on the iris of the eye pulling the pencil towards the pupil with a brush brushing swooping motion After I do the white in the eye I add several coats of that and then I will do a little bit of shading around the the eye to make it look more like an actual eyeball and not so flat and non-dimensional so I think I have another video on how to do freckles but I'm not hundred percent positive but this is how I do them. I'll get some uh, acrylic craft paint, like just your average craft paint, 
um, and this is brown, and then I've added a lot of water, and then I test it out like on a sheet of paper to see how watered down it is, and then I'm using a dotting tool just to dot them on, and this way they look more natural, they look, because they're not so dark, and they make them a little bit, it makes them a little bit more round, as if you had used a, if you used a brush, then it would be more, uh, like square shaped or line shaped so the dotting tool works really well with those too so i hope this information was helpful and that you like her i enjoyed making her and i'm really happy with how she turned out she was a lot of fun so let me know if you have any questions in the comment section below i hope you have a great day thanks so much for watching bye